What's up guys, Quizzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This is the third one in the series this week of Thanksgiving Thanksgiving week, um, three of five. Um, so two more on their way. This one is on displaced materials, because everyone that asked me for materials tutorial asked for displaced materials. And I don't know why, but I guess I gotta do it. Um, but, so, um, um, gonna say something but let's just get into the tutorial so um, right here this material it's pretty basic it's in this material is in um, the quasi moon dual pack um, this is it without the displacement as you can see it's kind of lame um, just looks like purple block like different colors different purple colors mixed in you know but basically what the what the displacements gonna do is gonna make like in here where it's like brighter it's gonna distort it and it's gonna give it like a crystal e effect. Um, like it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. So yeah, let's do it. So open up your material and um, you're obviously gonna have your material pre-made um, and you're gonna want to check displacement. Um, and then what you're gonna want to do is go to where it says texture, click that arrow, <coughs> and go down to layer, and then click on layer. And then go to image, and if uh, whatever image you used for um, the uh, like material itself, uh, you're gonna want to get that. Unless you didn't use an image, then use whatever you did use, I guess, um, if that makes sense. Um, so let me just find where this is at. Um, right there. And as you can see, this is golden here but I turned it to purple because I'm awesome um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to shader and um, go to noise and put that baby on um, you can use multiple things you can use overlay hard light uh, I guess hard light doesn't really work um, there's another one that works real well uh, I don't remember what it is now but Maybe it's no. Okay, I'm just gonna eat roll overlay, and um, if you click on the noise, you can go and you have some different settings. You can change colors and stuff. I don't even know if the colors do anything. Yeah, whatever. Um, but you can change the seed as well. So I'm just gonna go to something random that works. And if you go here where it says noise, and there's a little arrow there, you can click that and you can choose from a bunch of uh, different kind of distortions or displacements or noises I mean there we go um, so if you have like uh, a, like a bricky techy kind of distortion you can use this I guess I guess it's not really that bricky um, but I guess it doesn't really matter in all honesty but you can just pick whatever I don't even know what I'm gonna pick I'll probably do this one because it's nice and square so yeah I'm gonna do that one and you can make the make it bigger if you want like bigger distortion instead of like smaller little distortions I guess so I'm gonna zoom out a bit like that cuz I, li I like the lot I like it when there's a lot if you know what I mean um so yeah so that's that I'm gonna go back to the, the to the displacement and as you can see you can see like the little um, little thumbnail has the overlay of the noise and uh, you're gonna wanna go to strength then um, mine always want only starts at 19%. That's probably not enough. I'm just gonna drag up to 100 because YOLO. Um, and then you can adjust the height if you want it like bigger and stuff. But I'm just gonna leave it at five for now. And um, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to make sure the sub polygon displacement is checked. If it is not checked, it really won't displace anything at all. It'll just be kind of lame. Um, and subdivision level, uh, you can really do whatever. I believe the highest is 12, um, but uh, a lot of computers can't render that, so I'm just going to roll um, 6. I believe that's what I used. Actually, I think it was 7, because 7 is my favorite number. Um, so yeah, that's that, and this height went back to Alright, so there we go. Um, now, <clears throat> the fun thing is people think that's it, and that's the, the, the displacement you can get, but if you go here to type, you can play around with this, you get some really awesome displacements. Like, look at that. I don't even know. They just look so cool. I don't even know. I'm just... Oh, uh, look at that. 
Look at that one. Looks like a fox. A purple fox. I don't know. That one's kind of lame. And that's the normal one. And that one really sucks. The red and green and the regular intensity ones really suck. But all the other ones are pretty cool. So I'm just going to go down to the RGB XYZ world. I'm going to see what this puppy looks like. It's already on. And uh, when I put it on, I go to cubic and I click seamless. Just in case your texture is a little weird. Seamless, basically, if you ever had a uh, material that was... Um, uh, like you saw like the texture in like squares seamless gets rid of that and I don't even know if I'm gonna okay yeah I am um, so let's see what this bad boy looks like I did this earlier and uh, made sure it looked alright but hopefully, hopefully it does look alright I probably did something different that time and it looked a lot better then but I don't know So if you see here, I have a cone and a, and a cube, if you guys didn't see that. Just thought I should point that out. Alright, so I'll just come back when it's rendered. Alright guys, so it rendered out. As you can see, it looks kind of weird. It looks overly bumpy. I don't really like that. Um, and the reason for that being like that is because of the noise we had overlaid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to make it a bigger global scale. That's a little too much. Alright. So I'm gonna do like that. I'm gonna actually change it up. And mix it up. Uh, that works, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna try this again. Um but real quick, another way to do this, um, if you're not getting good results like that, um, I'm just gonna duplicate this. Is um instead of here, I'm just gonna clear this. Um, instead of doing what I just showed you, um, just let me copy this one sec. Do the same thing you did for like your color, like paste it on here. Have your texture, have it as like a filter, and keep the subdivision and everything. And um, this will give you results as well. It won't be as distorted, um, but it should look all right. So I'm gonna duplicate these and render them both out, and. Uh, I'll be back when they're done. Alright, so as you can see, this bottom one still looks weird with like the noise and stuff. And that all that takes is just playing around with the noise or not using it at all and just going to this one. Because uh, as you can see, all right, that one doesn't look too good because it has so much light and it's just white and stuff. But this one, um, it has like the, the purplish, blackish part here. It's kind of flat and then it has like these indents. And like on a logo or like text and stuff, it looks like it's crystallized and it's really sick. Not gonna lie, uh, it doesn't really give a, its full effect on a on a cube. But yeah, and uh, this effect using the um, uh, noise overlay, um, it look it looks really good on like metally textures. I've noticed. I believe that's what I did for all my metal textures. It's just these more abstract ones. Kind of it kind of doesn't fit. So. Um, yeah, so I hope this guy this sort of helped you guys. Um, you can play around with all these settings. Um, there's so much you you can do, and like it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys learned something. Please leave a like. Um, let me know what you guys want to see for tomorrow's tutorial and Friday. I still don't have one picked out yet. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of Photoshop stuff. And whatnot, and um, if you guys have been reading the description of the videos, you'll know that if all five of them hit 100 likes by Saturday morning, I will be doing it, some kind of IRL, probably one with challenges. I'm probably going to just go with friends and do something awesome. Um, one, one is like the cinnamon challenge stuff, but yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy. So help me get there. I'm also planning on doing um, possibly like an 8.5 material giveaway. Uh, along with uh, a modeling pack thing that I did at like 3k uh, that was really favorite like really liked and people wanted to have another one so I might do that but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed for like the third time I think I said this but yeah see you guys later actually tomorrow and bye